Hello and welcome to Truck NIS. We are at the final race of round one of the playoffs. It is Kansas here today. The first time we've repeated a track on the schedule, interestingly enough. Uh, last time I believe we got mm, P3 here. So we had a good run. And uh, we're back to hopefully have ourselves another one. Uh, being that it is the last race of round one of the playoffs. We have uh, 10 drivers right now, and we are losing two off of the bottom. Uh, whoever is P9 and P10 in the points at the end of this race will be eliminated from contention, and the points will reset again for round two. Thankfully, we're not in too bad of a spot. I think we would really have to royally mess this up. <laughs> uh to find ourselves outside of the playoffs green, green, green. Okay. You can't or you know knocked out of the playoffs but I, if that's even possible but I do not want to tempt things so let's have ourselves a good run that's gonna start here with hopefully a nice qualifying effort it's flat foot out here so it kinda almost feels like a super speedway attempt Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. I needed to not do that. One more lap. Shoot, that's gonna not be great. Okay, we still have decent momentum here. That was, uh, that's point I got too cute with it and got too close to that bottom line. The water temp is getting high. I think we'll be okay. We didn't lose that much time. Just got too close to that bottom and it got sideways a little bit. Not the worst, but not what I wanted there. It's going to lose us a little bit of time, and with it being flat out, every little ounce you have is going to matter. Thankfully, lap two a little bit smoother. But now P2 behind, guess who? Who else but Cade? <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we drop any further. Hopefully this engine will hold on for us just a little longer so I can do a practice pit in. I think we'll be okay with. Got a good idea of where I want to start letting off the gas and all that and hitting the brakes. Watch your speed limit in the pits. That should be a decent enough pit in. And uh, the queue setup provided by Daniel, as always. So very thankful for that. Um, queue setup a little bit tighter than the race setup, so it should be a little easier to get it turned down during race conditions. And uh, get it onto pit road safely. Can adjust that a little bit. We are going to put the correct setup in. So I don't forget. Right here. It is updated from the last time. For the fall race. Which is cool. I, he told me that he loosened it up a little bit. Because we were experiencing some tight conditions last time. And uh, I imagine he made some minor other changes as well, probably to account for different temperatures and such. I wouldn't know a darn thing about making setups, so I, I'm just going to trust him. And uh, hey, the Q setup worked pretty darn well. We are P2. Nick very kindly reminding everybody to put the race set in. Very helpful. Don't want anyone to start off on their own setup and blow their engine. You can see the field here. Going through, Nick intentionally starting from the back, it looks like. I think he's taking a conservative ap approach because he can make it to the next round of the playoffs, I imagine, just by having a solid run. And all he's got to do is not end up wrecked out, probably. And uh, I think that's probably why he's going for the safe approach. So, while it's warm up here, I'll go ahead and bring up the league standings. So you can see the situation heading in. You've got Cabe in the lead here. And we are looking, of course, at the top 10 here. You can see how the points jump from 376 to the 2000s. That's because these are your playoff drivers. Bottom two right now are Matthias and Ryan. And they're trying to get their 30 and 62 points up above that cut line here. Tyler on the bubble, essentially. If uh, Matthias has a good race and Tyler does not, you could see that switching. And uh, could be some drama here 
Ryan's going to have to have a very fortunate race and going to need these guys to have a bad time, I think, uh, as he's in a bit of a hole. I don't know. I don't even know if it's possible, to be honest. I don't know exactly how many points can be gained or lost. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be genuine with you there. But uh, we will find out after the conclusion of this one who's in and who's out. You see, we are up here in fifth with 102 points in round two. Um, lots of guys got head starts from wins and, you know, their playoff points they've gained during the season. We get points for our regular season championship and, uh, no wins, but, uh, at least one stage win I remember I got, so, um, all right, that's what we've got going on headed in. Once we get to the next round, they will, re the points will reset, uh, back to the playoff points we earned during the regular season, so it'll be like the beginning of round one again. So I just figure I'll give that an explainer for anybody that may not be familiar with how the playoff system works. We are getting ready to get going here for the race. Stages, as you can see Nick wrote in the chat down there. Lap 30 and lap 60. So we are going to want to try to get some of those stage points as well. And uh, you can still get playoff points as well, uh, as far as I understand. So if we can win a stage and uh, not finish behind Cabe for once, <laughs> uh, that would be great. You know, get some uh, extra points. Don't listen to the estimated strength of field. Thank you for a very obvious statement there. Um, my race lab strength of field estimate is 2.9k. So pretty strong field here, as we typically get in the league races. Yellow or red for the playoff drivers on the spoiler. Okay, 46 laps estimated for fuel. That's interesting, so... I wish I had done this math already. 134 divided by... The track temp is 79. We gotta make it to at least lap 30 or 44, I think, so we just gotta go full tank, it sounds like. That is what I uh, understand to be the truth. If we want to, uh, to divide this into threes. I'm going to save and fuel a little bit here already. Let's make sure we can make it far enough. Just going to run it dry, probably. Because we're pretty close on fuel. P2, not my favorite starting spot, but we will live with it. Hopefully get a good enough jump. Keep it up here. Matthias off to a great start. Sorry, I don't know if it's Matthias or Matthias. I don't know if you, like, pronounce the H. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. <laughs> so, uh, apologies. But uh, he is there in P4, off to a good start, hoping to get himself into the next round. Going green. Wait until green. Interesting. The next car's the leader. Should be able to file in behind him. Works just fine for me. It's gonna be kind of pack racing here today, with our full throttleness. I don't know if I necessarily want to make any moves. I think I'm just going to ride for a while. Enjoy that I can lift off the gas a little bit. I'm not feeling it. Probably shouldn't half commit to cutting down low, but just not really feeling it. really no reason to fight side by side whenever draft is going to keep everybody in the same place anyway. I'm going to hang behind him, hopefully uh, keep the enough tire grip into this thing. The 
And uh, maybe have enough tire grip to try to, you know, do the overtake when it's lap 30. I could imagine this race going very, very clean. We've got a really established group of drivers here. The numbers are a little bit lower than they were when we first came here earlier in the season. I think we could have a very clean race, so looking forward to hopefully that coming to fruition. A little bit too close to the banking there. It's feeling good so far. Not much to it right now. So we're going to hang out. It's going to feel kind of like a super speedway for a while, I think. Could start looking a little different. If uh, handling comes into play more. I think maybe Cave got a little bit loose there. I know I'm right up his spoiler, which could get the truck loose for him. If it starts giving him too many fits, I'll back off a little bit. Maybe I'll pass him. <laughs> but, uh. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, I would think. So easy for me to say. Having not being the one experiencing the issues. Outside lane going up. Just kind of playing the long game here. Trying to think ahead. Keep the truck happy. All that good stuff. Okay, going to lane up. That gives me more indication that maybe he's getting a little loose lower down the track. Which is interesting. feeling okay. I feel just fine. Thankfully not really feeling that same looseness that he might be feeling, and I could be completely wrong. He's feeling okay. Maybe even just anticipating the potential need to not be so loose with the truck, and that's why he's entering a little bit higher. I'm saving fuel as well, which is not so bad at all either. Could let me go a couple extra laps out on track. Not seeing too much movement out here, though. I think uh, guys are content to kind of ride for a while. Good. 
I think that's the smart approach at this point in the race. Maybe we got a little bit of grass there. Off for him. Just advertising his YouTube channel is all. That's all we're doing right here. Front and center on the screen. He races in real life at uh, the newly released track that just came out, Kern County. In fact, he's a track champion there, I think. So he was pretty excited that that got released on iRacing, I know. He was talking about it on uh, the Discord. That's super cool. He says the... Pro late model feels exactly like it does in real life on iRacing. It's cool to hear that someone, uh, someone with first-hand experience in the car and experience both with real racing and sim racing to say, you know, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. That's pretty cool. Reminds you that uh, the simulation's pretty darn good most of the time. It has its flaws, but to hear that it drives just like the real thing, that's what matters most, I think. That's really cool to hear, and uh, I definitely will be buying Kern County, I think. I got my participation credits from last season. Plus, they had that in anniversary thing for iRacing. I've been on the service for 10 years, so I got $10 in credits, which was a cool promotion they did. So I got about $18 to spend, which is enough to get myself a Kern County. That's going to be all over the schedules next season, and it looks like a fun little track. So I'm looking forward to that. Got a little tight for the first time there. That was interesting. Dylan behind us, of course, was very fast as well. Kind of keeping an eye on him back there to see if he plans on making a move at any point. So far it seems like he's been okay with staying in line. Your last lap time was at 52.1. Okay, at least on entry maybe there? Maybe that's what that looked like. I know I'm all over him. Point do we try to get around? You got time still. I'm in no hurry. At some point we do want to try to get around him, I think. But I gotta remember the big picture too. As much as I would love to try to get a win here today, that would obviously Im improve my championship standing. Can't wreck myself trying to go for a win either. I gotta remember what's most important. That's uh, making it to the next round. Don't need to find my way, find a way to lose out on that. Handling starting to get a little different. Interesting. Got a little gap behind third all of a sudden. Having to lift off a little bit more. I'm trying to get the feel of this thing down. Trying to figure out what it wants from me at this point. I'm not 
not sure why the Trek series chose Kansas, Kansas of all places to choose as its like repeat track right now. There might be a story behind that. But it's interesting that this is the track they decided to come back to multiple times. Ooh, Cade got loose up there. I felt the same thing right about at the same time. Probably getting very similar tire wear readings right now, since we've basically been mirroring each other. More accurately, I've kind of been mirroring him. Just following in his tire tracks this whole time. About to make it easy for you, Chad. Getting closer to lap 30. I haven't been able to keep up right behind him like I was earlier. Making me a little concerned it might not be as easy to get up around him if I need to, as I thought it might be initially. Still right here though. Bigger lift offs on entry. Feeling some loose right now. That lap time was 32.4. Dylan's going high line. He's trying to get a run. That could get interesting. How is that going to work for him? It's working well. There he goes onto our inside. High side is here. Hmm, that did not turn as much as I thought it would. Got dirty air up here. That being the line Cave took. We're gonna try to go where he's not, I think. Although I think that's going to help Dylan get by us. Interesting. I'm going to let him go. Uh, I ended up going middle line. I was going to go back down low, but I didn't commit hard enough. That was a very bad corner. As a result. Maybe they can fight up there. We'll see what happens. Ryan's coming now too, though. I mean, I do want to get back up on the high side. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. That might put him in the wall if he's not ready for the arrow tight. He's able to power through it, looks like. Man, why am I falling off all of a sudden? I wasn't pushing that whole run. Guess I'm just not quite getting this down. It's unfortunate. That last lap was at 32.5. So now they're driving away. I had like one or two bad corners. And there they went. seen anyone get the wall yet. I've uh, only been looking at Cade hey, pretty much the whole time, so I guess there's that little fact. Well, I guess we're going to finish third in the stage. I guess I should have passed early. Er. You know, at all. But or it may have attempted a pass earlier. Didn't expect that to play out that way. Oh well. Going to the bottom now. Interesting. 
really like to catch back up to these guys so I can get their draft. Nice. Pretty loose up here. It's better than tight. Like that I'm getting enough turn that I'm not just finding myself in the wall. It'd be great for them to be side by side long enough for me to get close enough to get back into the draft. Draft is going to be a big thing in a place like this in an underpowered truck. They're getting really close to the wall. Got to be careful as I get closer. The dirty air is going to make the, car, uh, the truck tighter. <laughs> Not feeling tight right now, though. That got loose up there. Kind of got on that seam. I think that's why. Really got to watch out for either of them to get in the wall, because I got to be able to turn down and out of the way if all of a sudden they're coming at me. Because of, you know, friction and such. Ryan's coming back to me from behind. He's in the wall. He's in the wall back there. I think the aerotite got him. Look how brutal that is. I just, I really gotta make sure I don't do that. That should be a lesson learned. Don't push it too hard. It's that. It's gonna be devastating if I get into the wall. He's back to. He's lost a spot back there. Maybe he got a little bit of damage. Probably not, though. Probably a light hit. Still gotta watch out. Watching those two kind of drive away. I've got a big gap behind me now. Do I dare try the bottom out again now that it's kind of loose up here? I think I have to because that was not a good corner. Let's see how the bottom's feeling again. If anything, we'll get on the right front some more. It help us. And not as fast. Gives us a little bit more grip, though. Here? Maybe? I think so. That felt a little bit better. Maybe we alternate. It starts getting loose. Maybe we take a, uh, a trip down low for a corner. Getting closer to pit stop time. Quite there yet. Still have the benefit of that lifting I did earlier in the draft, giving me a little bit better fuel mileage. I think we'll take advantage of that. Why not? Go a little longer, see what happens. Uh oh. That's a guy in the wall right there. Devastating, man. That's killer. That's why I gotta not do that myself. Pitting in, pitting in. 67 is pitting in. One heading in. That seems a little early. I think if you want to divide this into threes, you really gotta go at least 43, maybe. Unless, uh,. Maybe the mileage is better than I thought. I think it is, actually. I think uh, my early numbers were a little off, so he's probably fine. Get 
driving right away on a draft right. track. Man, he's he's a living cheat code. That. Not even fair. <laughs> he's Cup Series ready. Get him out of the Truck Series. Unbelievable. <laughs> These bushwhackers coming down in the lower series. I thought he got in the wall up there for a second. You go to that far left the fuel. Oh, he's going around me. Still there, inside. Good consistency. Keep him still there, D3. I don't want it to let him go. Clear inside. Side by side's not gonna help either of us. Gotta lift off more now because we are following 30 air. Get ready for that. Also entering the corner faster. Another thing to consider. And he's just got better drive through the corner. I don't know, man. Yeah, nine is putting in. Nine is putting in. Some extra draft coming up here. Someone who pit already. Frank, it looks like. Come in soonish. You've got about two left of fuel. Getting this time, getting this time. The lead is bidding now. And this lap. The car behind is bidding. You're back in second. The next car is the leader. In this lap. In this lap. Imagine Dylan's coming in. Lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We think we'll need to stop again. He's gonna pit in front of us, so it's okay we're on his side. It's inside. We're like in Pepper Bowl, Cat. Five, three, two, one. Right here. I suck, man. <laughs> I've done that like three times in a row now. 52, 52, and yet I was still falling back. I don't know, man. Getting out of the first gear. Go, go, go! Look at all that time we lose. Sliding forward. That's draft we're not going to get anymore. I, s I feel like I hit the brakes so early too and just slid past the box anyway. That's so bad. Terrible. Ah, just needed to not mess that up. What do I do? Out of the draft, I guess. P9. What a shame.
Guess their tires are a little bit better than the guys ahead, but I don't think it's going to matter too much when you're flat out here, is it? It's probably a minimal difference. The draft is going to be more helpful to them than anything. Hope I can catch up to Ryan here and get his draft. Ugh. It's really, it sucks so much that I can see just how much time I lost by sliding past my box because I was right next to Dylan. Like, this is how much of a difference that makes. It makes me feel worse about it. Got some guys staying up pretty long. Some impressive fuel mileage I have. Getting close enough to Ryan to get some draft at least, that's good. draft. Hopefully enough. Close enough to Gavin to get some there. He pit two yeah, laps sooner. Coming up on the next stage, 60. Stage two. Side. Stay high. Clear inside. And no one expected the middle line there. Oh, the arrow. Feeling that arrow all of a sudden. little bit tighter. We got people like going extra long. Are they gonna make it to lap 60? There's no way. I'm not sure what the situation is. Oh, Nick Pitt on lap 33. Wow, that's really good. That'll get out of the dirty air going high this corner. To the inside of Nick. Just gonna try to get as much as I can. I'm back up to Dylan at least. Lower here, we're gonna take the high line. Smart plays from the guys ahead, I think, to get themselves in a spot to lead lap 60. Got Cabe up there. Of course Cabe's up there. He doesn't need to do any strategies to get stage wins. That's Nick Martin. He's on much older tires. Time was 
gonna pick what he's not. Anticipating what he's doing. It's like a game of rock, paper, scissors. Except when you get a draw, then that's when you get the arrow type. It's bad. Both choose low, but that should be okay. Ugh. Not quite able to catch him anymore. Don't think we're going to catch Ryan. Uh, he... Two. He made a smart play to get the stage points. So I guess it'll be P4 for us for stage two. That's alright. Still good, decent points. We've had a good start to the day here today. Just the lane. Still there. Okay, hi. Okay, hi. Does the car leave in the pit lane? Okay, hi. You're back in P3. Clear. Pete Hart's lane time was at 32.0. Clear. Clear. Should be catching Ryan gradually. So thankfully able to crawl back from our pit mistake. Somehow. To what we did differently. Maybe not being in the uh, pack helped us. Have clean air for longer. I have no idea. Don't know how that works, but... Here. Oh, that's tight. That was not good. We want to be Highline, I think. That was very bad. Okay, Highline it is. Hi, hi, Captain. Ooh, I ran, almost got the wall up there. catch Ryan, we gotta get around him because he's got older tires. But, hopefully he can, like, latch on to our group, and maybe we can start drafting to do something about Cabe? Ultimately, that is the real goal, I guess. Not Cabe from winning yet again, but we will see. We'll see about that. Still a decently long way to go in this stage. Still not so interested in working together. That was a great corner, actually. Is he going to clear me? Why? Quite loose up here. Okay. Got enough of a run through there. Still there. Really working the wheel to make this thing not get too sideways. Pretty close to my left rear. Clear inside. Inside. Keep high. 
I really wish he would stop battling me. I wish we could just work together, but I understand. He wants the position. First run, it seemed like, uh... What is this guy doing? Make me loose, what he's doing. Um, uh, seemed like wanting to pass early in the run would have been better. Pressure tires going by, it looks like. Oh man, I thought he was getting a wall there for a second. I have to lift it off a little bit more because I thought I might have to make evasive maneuvers for a second. It's pretty bad. Car that was at Car is very loose. Not great handling at the moment. I just don't have the grip I need anymore. Hmm. Very interesting racing. We have to go to the bottom though for a little bit because not nearly enough grip for me right now. Alright Colton, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Is the car leaving the pits? You've just done a 32.6. The lap time's pretty consistent. It's just not as fast down low though really need this thing to hook up on the high line. Mm. Those guys are getting so close to the wall. Make it work though. Non pitting in, non pitting in. It's disappointing we haven't been able to get around Ryan with his other tires. I just killed my right rear, unfortunately. Come on, grip. Just four tires sliding. That's very unfortunate.
not getting the long runs. It's just really not working out for me, and I, I think it's just I have to do something about my driving. First run it was tight. This run it's been loose. You've just done a 52.6. Okay, that's tight. Whoa. Whoa. I think two cars running up there made the the truck it tight. So many like aerodynamic factors going into it here. It's hard to know what you're gonna get yourself into heading into any one car. That is something I just got into there. Oh man. I am just slip sliding everywhere. Frank. I still have his draft for a minute. Great run through there. Ooh. Interesting, everybody chose to go low there. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Oh my gosh, this thing's so hard to control. Hard to really put into words. Car inside. Get to his outside. Keep high. I really should be able to get around Ryan. I've got six lap fresher tires. I really shouldn't have any trouble. And yet I have. Is he pitting? Maybe he's just now getting the big fall off. No. Alright, around him. Alright, P3. Can't believe Cave is just driven away so far. Okay, Colton. Thank you. Good We're just gonna go long again. Figure why not. I mean, look at our compared to last lap right now. We're obviously not hurting on speed. At least compared to last lap. If anything, the truck's getting better. Gavin is catching us though. I noticed that. Got some clean air right now, which is nice. The jump ahead is now 2.4 seconds. Inside. We got going around us right now. Stay high. That's uh, Alan. Hey, I don't mind this. I'll get his draft for a while. Absolutely. Let's go into the bottom. I thought he was going high. <laughs> a little bit of a slower corner as I got the dirty air. Well, never mind. I guess I'm not going to get any draft if he's going to drive away that quickly. His tires are too fresh for me. Maybe we undercut. I don't know. Not even undercut. This would be kind of the optimal pit time. We do it? Do we pull the trigger? Yeah, Gavin's catching us. Maybe we do. Mm. 
Nah, not quite. Seeing too much green to want to do that. Over line actually kind of worked there. Hit this time. Uh oh, that's Nick back there. I gotta make sure I tell him. I know Nick and Gavin both know what that means. I know I said I'd start calling it from now on, but I needed to be silent anyway, or do it in a silent way anyway, because Nick was going to be there. It works out. If it had been anyone else but Nick and Gavin back there. I would have called it out. Hey, don't slide past your box. Ninkumpoop. 6153? Okay. I have no idea, man. First run, we were even. All clear. Punch it. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the line. Up to Taylor. Ahead. Is he on the apron? Pretty slidey down there. We'll see what we can get with this uh, bit of an undercut. Just opened up on the uh, the fuel window. In this time, in this time. How much will we be able to get with the undercut? Hopefully enough we can get into the draft. Got this. Wish I could have put more tape on it. Certainly don't have enough tape on this thing, but I guess no one can adjust their tape, so... There's there. B12. Where will we end up? It's been green all the way so far. Awesome race. Gavin's 60-56, so he was better with his right rear. Share it, but the reason I didn't share it at the time is because I didn't really necessarily want them to notice I was pitting. Or will we cycle out? Interesting, we have a couple different strategies going on. A couple of Nicks ahead of us hit 20 laps earlier. They got a pink in. Interesting. Oh, looky here who we're passing. Very interesting. Might be close on fuel. However, really kind of pushed it, stretched it to its uh, limit here. I think we can do it if necessary. Two seconds on cave now. It was about our only shot. Got oh, really lucky. Somebody would come out of the pits right in front of us. Maybe a lap car or something. And we'd be able to keep up with them and go on their draft. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. That's good consistency. Keep it up. They are the true leader right now, I believe. So those two guys ahead, they definitely can't make it to the end. A 
not sure what Ryan Thompson's situation is. He's probably going for a Hail Mary, though, because he essentially needs to win to make it to the next round. I guess I didn't mention that in my explanation of how the point system works. You win and you're in to the next round, no matter how many points you are behind. That's a pretty well-established part of how this works, though. There's two guys ahead. Get some draft. Goodness. Did not need that. Lost some time there. Yeah, Ryan can't make it on fuel. We're just short on fuel right now, but it's savable. John Ahead's pitting in. Why is he pitting from the middle lane? That's my question. Oh my goodness. We're okay. Got a gap back to Cade. How long are we going to be able to keep it though? As these tires presumably start wearing off. We do have clean air, which is good. He does not have clean air. I guess he does. He's behind us now. Wow, he's flying. Dang it, man. He's going to come win it. I'm going to try to prevent it. We are 1.7 laps short. We're going to start. need to start lifting later, though. That'll help us make it to the end. Stop hitting the apron. Boob. Hitting the apron. Who do you think you are? Some draft. Could be helpful. Trying to hit the apron again. B2, okay, Colton, you're reeling. Tops, the gap is now 1.4 seconds. Outside. That's good consistency. Keep it in. Guard the leader. Keep low. Outside, uh, clear. It did not lift there. I'm the leader. Just hoping to catch a caution out here. The lap time was at 31.8. Outside. The top's outside getting closer. The gap's now 0.1. Now we gotta worry about our fuel. Starting to do some lifting now. Man, Cave's gonna be here though. I don't see how we're gonna be able to hold on to this. You're in Cave's on his way. Give him hell, Ryan. <laughs> Hold him back there. Ryan's way too off the pace, but... Uh... Well, 
um, at least I put myself in a position where I might have had a chance. Theoretically. Cautions are still possible, at least. Get to save people, though. Doing good. Keep it up. Pass me right now. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear. It's not even a chance to hold them off. The next car is the leader. Inside. Keep high. Clear. Damn, Dylan, that move looked familiar. Oh. See what we can hold on to. Bigger lifts now. Hopefully, should start saving some of that fuel I need. I'm getting closer already. I think I should be able to make it. A little more apron hitting for fun. Car very unsettled, actually. The gap in front has increased. It's less than a lap short now. I need these guys to fight each other and put each other in the wall or something. That's my only shot at this point. Barring a uh, caution shenanigans. Right now, I'm set to run out in turn two. Further each lap. That's what I need. Gavin's back there at a three point five. Five at the moment. The gap to tops behind is now one point two.
It's still short. 21 to go. Uh, do I need to start worrying? I'm already worrying. Who am I kidding? Do I need to start panicking? Not saving much fuel anymore. Half a lap short, I believe. Okay, I can make it most of the way down the back stretch now. Fortunately, it's allowing some guys behind to catch some more, including Ryan. Just get the wall back there? No, nah, just he's running high up there. Okay, we'll be close now. for that caution because he wants the win. Nah, I already pitted. Let's go green. He's still going to run out heading into three. This is tense. This fuel mileage. That was at uh, 32.7. Nine pit in, nine pit in. Oh, he's got a pit. That's right. I forgot. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. I could save more. Point three laps short. We can do some big lifts right now. The gap in front has increased to 4.5. Your lap time was 32.7. How much is that gonna save? I don't know. Lemons closing in. The gap is now 2.2 seconds. <laughs> That's not even doing very much. I'm losing too much momentum in the middle of the corner. Just gotta be smooth and lift off early. Get to the throttle slower. That was at 33.1. Take the shortest way around the track. Do everything I can. Oh, what happened to Nick? Oh, he had a pit again. That's right. We're set to run out in between three and four now, I think. 
Nick's gonna zoom past us here on his fresher tires. A minute. Doing much better on fuel now. Still not great, but much better. But Gavin's getting close. now make it, I believe. Just barely. I'm not comfortable by any means, yet. Now we're outside. Love some draft for a second. This could be huge for us. Oh, we're close on fuel, man. No, we're faster than those guys behind, I think, but I know I think is what I said. Be so careful with my throttle. The gap to lemons behind is now 0.8. I don't even think I can start running the high line because if I do, I feel like that longer way around the track is gonna hurt my chances of making it easily, or you know, making it without having to really worry. Okay, we're still good. Just gotta manage this. This draft is really helping. Set to run yeah, out. Who put the oil in three and four? <laughs> we set to run out right at the line. That wacky races oil slick being deployed on the track in three and four, apparently. I've been going so easy this whole run for the fuel purposes. I'm actually feeling okay. Handling wise. Mm -hmm. You've just done a thirty two point six. Oh boy, I just I constantly have to look at that fuel, to make sure it's still looking okay. Getting loose up there. We're running out right about there now. He's <laughs> saying five laps of fuel. I was following Nick's strategy. I don't know what it was, but I sure pitted a lot. Where to go? 3.9 estimated fuel. It's going to start stuttering though before it even hits zero, I think. Isn't that how it works? Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be so close, and I have to hit. 
I have to lift off like I have been this whole rest of the run here. Not much to go, but I still have to keep doing it. They're getting closer. Oh, that's Ryan coming up. You've got two laps to go. You've got about two laps of fuel left. We're running on fumes, mate. Fox this Running on fumes. So I've heard. Go low. Clear outside if you want it. A little bit of draft here. Running out right at the line, it looks like. And they're half a second behind, heading into the final lap. Oh boy. Alright, coming into the final corner. Gunning it. Get on, get on. <laughs> Out at the line. Great drive. That's a podium. Ah, dang it. <laughs> All right. it oh no, Gavin got passed at the last second. P3. Yeah, really well. Oh, Dylan got the win. Look at that. I couldn't run. Had a photo finish. I was so loose in three and four, but wow. Good right there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh-oh, it felt dirty. What happened? We gotta see the finish, I think. What did the finish look like? He does a slide job. He gets in front of him. Oh, bounces off the wall. Interesting. Yeah, we ran it empty. Stretched that undercut about as far as I could possibly do it. Just wanted to see if I could give myself a chance, get the caution or something. And, uh, yeah. Did the best we could, got third again, at least we're consistent. I really burned that right rear that second run. Gavin did that uh, final run, 69-61, talking about the oil slick. Spinning in three and four, last 20 laps. Sounds about right, what I was dealing with. That was so cool. Yeah, I was at the end, too. That was badass. I don't know how I was able to do it for so long, and I knew the slide job was coming. And you got loose, and I got loose, and I drove in your left rear. I was like, damn it! And then I just lost it, so good run. I knew it was coming, I just, ah, oh, I didn't run it back yet. That was very interesting finish. Dylan just had to go for it, and he just didn't get the slide job to stick nice, nice well finish. enough. And Cabe just barely got his quarter panel. We're gone, Cabe, honestly. Hmm. Very interesting race. Very interesting. Made that much harder on myself at the end. With all my fuel. So here is your finishing order. We will make it to the next round of the playoffs with that. I imagine that's Ryan out. 
who's going to be next in, though. It looks like Tyler finishes ahead of Matthias, so I, ha I would have to guess. Although pending is stage. That could, that could change. I think Tyler or uh, Matthias would have to have much better stage finishes, though, to pass Tyler. So I'm going to guess Tyler's in. Matthias just out. But we'll have to wait until uh, the stage points are compiled before we know for sure. And uh, I suppose I can put that in the description when that comes out. So, if you're curious, that will be down there in the description below. So, um, I'm just going to call it good on incidents. We had no cautions. So, I'm guessing all we're going to have are some wall hits. I'll tap through it real quick. I don't think we're going to see much, though. Probably just some blinking from a couple of guys. Wall hit on entry from Matthias there. And uh, since I don't expect we will see anything while I'm doing this, I will say thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Um, suppose we can look at the race results page here. I'll go ahead and bring that up for you. That is currently loading. So I'll go through these... Uh, to do non-incidents for a little bit longer. And here are your results. Dylan with the win on that last lap, last corner pass, the slide job. Gets around Cabe, just barely able to get it to work. I get the fastest lap time, probably because of draft at some point. Lap 49 just coming out of the pits, I suppose, is when that was. You can see we got 34 points on the day. Four stage points. You can see here, that's probably not going to be enough. I don't think Matthias losing one point. And uh, even with, if he had a better set of stages, I think that's probably it. So. We uh, did what we needed to today to get to the next round. They had themselves... An interesting finish up there. I wonder if I had been able to be closer. If I would have been able to take advantage. But I wasn't close even if I had. I uh, didn't need to save the fuel. They had much of a gap before even the pit stops. So. Don't think it made much of a difference in the end. Continue on through these non-incidents. And uh, I will say thank you for watching. Again. Ooh, here's something maybe? No. This wall hit. And then this is the end of the race. So as I expect, very clean. Except for uh, maybe that a little bit. But not intentionally a bad move. Dylan just uh, doing anything he can. Try to make it work. And Cave not able to cut under. So, Alright, that will do it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.